Remember that when we derived the average case time complexity for a binary search tree, we had to make two assumptions about our inputs. We assumed that all queries would be equally likely, so you'd be equally likely to search for any given element, and we assumed that all insertion orders were also equally likely. These two assumptions in real life are not super realistic, and as a result, we don't actually always obtain that big O of log n time complexity with just a simple binary search tree. A randomized search tree is an attempt to alleviate how unrealistic those random uniform properties were. Basically, a randomized search tree is a treep where we use the elements that we would have inserted into a binary search tree as our keys. So we maintain the binary search tree property with respect to keys. So we get my pen. So uh, we maintain the binary search tree property with respect to our keys. But then we randomly generate priorities. So we're not given priorities in advance. As we see each key that we're about to insert, we just randomly generate a priority uniformly. And we maintain the heap property with respect to these randomly generated priorities. So it's still a tree, it's just that instead of knowing our priorities in advance, we just randomly generate them on the fly. By doing this, because of the randomness of our priorities, we hope that on average, we should get a better balanced tree than we would using just the regular keys inserted into a just standard binary search tree. Let's pretend I want to insert the following integers into an empty binary search tree in this exact order. These numbers are sorted in increasing order, and we know that a binary search tree, when created from an ordered set of elements, will result in a perfectly unbalanced tree, which is the absolute worst scenario for our performance. So can I somehow use the randomized search tree to improve things? In other words, can I use a tree where keys are the same elements that I'm inserting, but priorities are generated completely randomly. And would that change anything? So for each of these keys that I'm inserting, I'm going to randomly generate an integer, which I'll be doing off screen and just pretending, or just giving you the number. So the first key that I wanna insert is one. So I'm gonna insert into an empty binary search tree or an in empty randomized search tree, really. So this is a tree where now the root has key one, and I'm going to randomly generate a priority, which I randomly generated to be 36. And I'll circle it in purple. Now the next number I want, so now one is done. So the next number I want to insert is two. Two is greater than one. And I'm going to randomly generate a priority, which is 79. Now I have a conflict because the heap priority, uh, the heap property is no longer maintained with respect to priorities. 79 is larger than 36. So to fix this, I have to do an AVL rotate left. So left AVL rotation counterclockwise, the result is going to be 2, 1, 79, 36. So this is the tree resulting from doing a left AVR rotation on this one. So I'm just going to scribble out this tree for now because we don't need it anymore. Now this is our tree containing our first two elements. Now I insert three. So the key three, three is greater than two, so it goes to the right. I'm gonna randomly generate a priority, which I'll say is 40, just totally randomly. My heat property is valid. 40 is less than 79, therefore 3 is done. Now let's insert 4. So 
I go right, I go right. Four would be the right child of three. And I'm going to randomly generate a priority of 93. All these priorities are completely randomly generated. However, I'm violating the, uh, the heat property now. 93 is less than 40. So to fix this, I have to do a left rotation. So the resulting tree, I'll draw it over here. The resulting tree is uh, two is still at the root with 79. Actually, I'll draw the outlines first and then I'll fill them in. So this is the root. This is unchanged. Uh, this has the right child. So I'm doing the AVL rotation here. These are two, one, four, three. And their priorities are 79, 36, 93, and 40. So this is the resulting tree of doing this AVL rotation. So now I'll scribble this because I don't need it anymore. This is my tree, but uh-oh, in this same insertion, I'm still messed up. My new node still has a higher priority than its parent, so I have to do another left rotation, which I'll draw over here. Oops, did I do that right? Uh, yeah. Oops, that's not correct. Four, two, one, three. And the priorities are 93, uh, 79, 40, and 36. So this is the result of doing a left rotation here. Four became the root. Two became its left child. What used to be four's left child is now two's right child, and this remains unchanged. So I'm just gonna scribble this out because we don't need this one anymore. This is my current tree. And I see that now I have maintained my heap priority, uh, my heap property with respect to the priorities. So four is done. Let me insert five. So five is the right child of four. And I'm going to randomly generate a priority of 59. My heat property is maintained with respect to priorities, so this is done. Now I'm going to insert 6. So 6 is the right. So I go right from 4. I go right from 5. 6 goes here. Its priority is two, just randomly generated. Again, my heap priority is maintained. Oh, my heap property is maintained with respect to priorities. Two is less than 59, so six is done. Now for the last node, seven, I go right from four, I go right from five, I go right from six. Seven goes here, and it gets a priority of 91, just randomly selected, 91. So heat property is violated, 91 is greater than two. So I need to do a rotation, a left rotation here, which I'll do over here. Uh, for the sake of convenience, I'm going to not randomly select this. I'm going to say, let's pretend this was 
uh, 50. Just to make the problem a little bit easier. I don't feel like going on for so long. So let's just say it was 50. Still, I would do a left rotation. Uh, my elements are 4, 2, 1, 3, 6, 5, and 7 with priorities 93, 79, 36, 40, 2, whoops, I did this wrong, uh-oh, uh, let me, let me erase this part. Let me redo that section of my tree. That's what happens when I work too fast. So this is still 559. But now here, it's right child. So this is the actual structure. It's right child is seven fifty and its left child is six two. So my new node was seven fifty. Now it is valid with respect to the heat property on its um, on its priorities. So now seven is also inserted. So let me scribble this one out as well. This is our final tree. So notice that we didn't do anything super fancy. All we were doing was given any list of numbers, which the actual list of numbers that we received were the worst possible list of seven numbers that a binary search tree can take. But by simply saying, hey, Instead of a binary search tree, let me create a tree. And instead of, and even though I don't know priorities in advance, let me just randomly generate priorities. It turns out that the resulting trees that we get are actually pretty balanced. So when we derived the average case time complexity of a binary search tree, we made two assumptions that it turns out are not actually realistic with real data. But here, sampling a random number, this helps us obtain that uh, all insertion orders are equally likely assumption that we made by just basically randomizing our insertion order uh, in post. We're given some order of numbers, but we're randomly generating um, priorities. And this essentially helps us simulate random insertion orders in a way. So again, a randomized search tree still has a big O of N worst case time complexity because in the worst possible scenario, my priorities could have just been seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, something like that. In which case the tree I would have gotten is still that worst case um, completely unbalanced tree. So random number generation does not guarantee that our tree is going to be balanced. It's just more likely that in expectation, it will be pretty balanced. But I could get very, very, very unlucky with the numbers that I generate, such that I would still have a big O of N worst case time.